Um, yeah. <laughs> Micro Blizz. Micro Blizz is good at all formats of Tetris, including Classic Tetris. Uh, when, where did you place in the 2019 tournament for Classic Tetris? Were you top 16 or top 8? I forget. I know you like won a couple rounds in the bracket. Uh, I mean, I'm not like creating a password for this game. Um, but yes, you could technically join. Um, just join in the queue. I don't really have much of a delay. Wonder if I could have all cleared that. I remember it was like pretty funny because I was trying to play um what was it, Tetra IO and then like I actually like won one game. Like I'm like not very really good uh, relative to the field on Tetra IO. And like I ended up winning one, and then people didn't believe it was me because I was going so slow. <laughs> like they're just like the real Tafo wouldn't be going at like one piece a second. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, oh man, such a feels bad. <laughs> Everyone was just like, nah, this can't be it. He's so slow, and I was just like, ah. That definitely was me, by the way, for people who were doubting. But oh gosh, I'm just not used to. I should research more about like kind of the logistics behind like Tetris licensing, right? Because a lot of the popular formats probably had like a 10 year license, if even that, to like run the game. And then once the license expires, they have to take it down. Strangely enough, I think Tetris um, is such a strong IP. I think when we talk about IPs, we talk about like things like Pokemon and like. Star Wars and Marvel Universe, but low key, I think Tetris is a huge like. Or when we think of like money makers, like I think Tetris often gets neglected. I think it's a huge industry money maker to have rights to like Tetris, just slap in your own skins and pre colors, like and it'll always sell. I can't think of like a Tetris game that doesn't sell unless it's like horrendously bad. Even then, the bad versions of Tetris probably sold decently well because it's Tetris, right? What's like the worst version of Tetris that like went to like a console or like sold for like $30 or more? There's a new guideline Tetris. I mean, isn't um... Tetris effect is guideline, right? Unless I'm mistaken. Unless like my memory of playing... Uh... Tetris effect is sorely mistaken. Okay, cool. It's a guy then. Um, so there's three types of... I think overall there's like... You can classify Tetris games into three types. Um, so there's class... You know, like the like historic, you know, like Tetris games. Like classic Tetris where like... Um, the, game, the piece is like pretty much locked near instantly. Um, um, there's no... And like... There's no wall kicking and whatnot that you see in this game. And then Guideline Tetris is like kind of like the intermediate or like intermediary version of like that bridges modern and classic Tetris. So um, Tetris Grandmasters, you know, the game where you see the guy playing invisible Tetris and it's like really fast. We usually see this like GDQ. Um, that version of Tetris is Guideline Tetris. And it, I would say it has... It's it still has like a lot of like quality of life mechanics like you can wall kick and do certain things but like for example when I put a piece down here right like I can endlessly rotate um, in guideline Tetris it doesn't really have that liberty and it's like a much stricter in many ways and then like the Tetris you see with like Tetris 99 and stuff is like I, I forget what they call it but it's like the simple version of Tetris out of all three I hope I didn't butcher that explanation. Yeah, 
I don't think I micro was gave a better explanation to me. I probably butchered it. I don't know like the hundred percent of the nuances. There's like a dog that's like crying as if it's in pain. It's like shrieking. Actually, I low key want to investigate it because it feels pretty bad to hear the cry. MS DOS. MS DOS version of Tetris is probably like classic Tetris. That's like pre guideline. Badges. All right, let's see if I can win ten in a row. That'd be so funny. Actually, I'd be pretty tilted if <laughs> we win nine and then we just lose ten. I don't have any line pieces in a while. Of working out, but it creates possibilities where I can just die there. Gosh, I played. I carved so poorly there that we got out. <laughs> Alright, we did it. Alright, there we go. Oh, I did it. That would have been so. That would have been a feels bad if I lost that. All right, was that three in a row? All right, we're gonna try to get ten. <laughs> 